We all know you can find almost anything at one of America's big box stores. But for many of us, those stores offer convenience at the expense of community, something our Connor Knighton finds in no short supply at the general store. This is the big moment. Opening day at the Weiwei store in Saco, Maine. There we go. Is always cause for celebration. We're open. After a long winter, customers pour in it's gonna be sugar daddies. to get their first taste of spring. I wanted to be the first customer of the year for good luck. Yeah, it's a special day. Go ahead, do some more. Today, these visits feel especially go. sweet. Keep going. For a while, everyone thought that this store had closed for good. It was gone. It was sad. It was like an old friend had died. Some of this candy here was two for a penny when I was a kid. Peter Scontris grew up in Saco. The Weiwei store originally operated as a country general store. Back then, it was considered way, way out of town and was run by the same family for nearly a century. When it closed down in 2003, it sat empty for eight years. I'm thinking 895. Until Scontris and his wife Bridget, okay, both retired teachers, reopened the store as a labor of love. Thank you very much. It was a treasure, and it, it had to be taken away from them to really understand it and appreciate it, to get to the point of a greater appreciation of what this was. It was a real loss for our community. It was a hole. In the community of Albany, Vermont, a 2013 fire forced their general store to close. That sounds great. Resident Kristen Urey and her neighbors felt the absence immediately, but any new owner hoping to make a profit was scared off by the high renovation costs. Could you have afforded to buy this on your own? Oh, yeah, Definitely. no. So yeah. we could have bought the property, um, and we would not be in the store anymore. Today, Albany store, the Jenny, is thriving again. Right, we need to add the red string. Okay. Run by partners Emily McClure, so, Kit yep. Basim, and Jana Smart. The women already owned a successful store in the nearby town of Craftsbury. But in the case of Albany, the community now owns the building. So this is Albany store, mm -hmm. and we're operating it. And I think that's the key to success in this kind of business. The Albany Community Trust raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to purchase and renovate the store, utilizing everything from grant applications to pie auctions. This is a place that says that this is a town, right? That like there's a there there. Ben Doyle is the president of the Preservation Trust of Vermont. The group has been helping towns take charge of their local stores to ensure they survive. We want to be able to go to a store where the people running it know who we are, they know what we like, and they offer something that we can buy. And that sense of community that you can't buy. What's going on? Oh, not too much. That sense of community is alive and well at the Jenny. Thank you. Have a good day. They sell staples and sandwiches, but people are coming for more than just convenience. Thank you very much. Like, maybe somebody doesn't really need something from the store, but they're like, I'm just going to pop in and, like, get a thing. But it's not about the thing. It's about the, the people and the connection and sense of place and community. The general story of rural general stores is not necessarily a happy one. In this area, saltwater taffy is big. Unless you've got someone doing it purely for the love of it, it's a hard road for young entrepreneurs. You get a barbecue too, please. Which is why the locally supported model may offer a path forward. A community deciding there's a value to having a store that goes beyond the bottom line. That's what we're trying to keep, right, is hold on to these main streets, hold on to these places that actually do bring people together. That it's not a, another Dollar General, that it's not a big box store, that it's actually, there's a heart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. That's Have the first tip of the year. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs>